Okay, so here we have the um, hyper a couple of the uh, hyperbolic uh, functions, and um, let's drive let's drive one of these. Let's say we want to find the derivative of uh, sinh. So let me do um, the derivative of um, e to the x minus e to the negative x over two. And as you can probably guess, um, this is relatively easy to do. The divided by two, that's just a constant. So this is simply um, e to the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, and then minus the derivative of e to the negative x is we use the chain rule. So it's simply itself times the derivative of the inside, which is negative one. Divide this by two, and you get e to the x uh, plus e to the negative x over two. And you'll notice that this is exactly equal to uh, cosh of x. And so the derivative of cinch is cosh. And if you um, do the same thing for cosh, if you follow the same reasoning and you find the derivative of cosh, you would get, now you might be thinking, oh, it's probably negative cosh, right? Because the derivative of cosine is negative sine, but it actually turns out that the derivative of cosh is the positive cinch. And, uh, but in general, um, the, the derivatives of the hyperbolic functions, they mirror the, uh, the derivatives of the trig functions pretty well. And so here's the full table. Um, so uh, finding, using these guys to find derivatives is pretty similar to um, trig functions. Let's say you want to find the derivative of uh, tanch of um, 3 to the x squared plus 4x, let's say. Okay, well, um, that's going to uh, require the use of the chain rule where we've got the outside is this guy and then we've got the inside is um, this, but then notice that also this is the inside of this function, so we'll have to uh, deal with that as well. Uh, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So the derivative of the outside function, which is uh, sich squared of, we leave the inside alone, so the inside, 3 to the x squared plus 4x. Okay, and then times the derivative of the inside. Well, the inside, let me move a little bit over. The derivative of 3 to the x squared, here I also have another chain rule situation, which is going to be 3 raised to that power times natural log of 3, but then I have to multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is 2x. Okay, and then plus, I'm still here inside, plus the derivative of 4x, which is simply 4. So a couple of chain rules, but um, that's it, you know, sim pretty similar to uh, the rest of them. And then similar to how you derive the um, inverse trig functions, uh, you have also the uh, inverse hyperbolic functions. Um, have the following formulas. Um, so let's do just one uh, quick example. Let's say you want to find the uh, derivative of a function like uh, tan of um, 4x squared minus 7. Okay, 
So, of course, you would have to use the chain rule, um, and you're going to use this guy. So we're going to have 1 over 1 minus. Now, instead of x squared, I'm going to have the inside left alone all squared. And then times the derivative of that inside, which is simply 8 x. And that's it.